Wow, friends, look at this. We are out. We are doing all the things. We are shopping all the stores in today's video. Oh, yes, we are. This is a brand new thrift store. Well, I say brand new. I've never been to this thrift store on YouTube, and I have not been to this thrift store in over 20 years. And I remembered it the other day, and I was like, oh my goodness. I don't even know what their setup is in there. And yes, I did film this a few weeks ago when I was fresh with my broken wrist situation and we are moving on to the other side of that. I am no longer in that get up that the ER had me in for eight days. I have advanced to a brace and yay, glory, it is only one broken bone and not two. And I have two weeks left of my brace. Let me give you a little update here along with the books. And then I should be able to start having times without my brace and hand therapy. So we are just moving right along. But look at this. Take life with a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. I like these jammies at this thrift store. Now they were obviously older. They were a much thinner fabric, but it had some precious little animal pictures on there that I thought my 10 year old daughter would love. So for the buck that they were, I took a chance and figured if they're not her thing, we can always donate them back. Then I found this precious puppy snowsuit for my toddler, and I wasn't sure on the size. I was trying to read the label there on the inside, didn't really see a size, and again, I thought, well, we'll take a chance on that because there's always a kid to give a snowsuit to, and we will just go from there, donate it back, or pass it on if we need to. Now, this thrift store was very organized. They had bins for all the little socks and undergarments. Look at that precious kitty outfit. They had all the picture frames you would ever need if you had a picture frame project coming up. I like to look through all of those. Also, uh, yeah, they had some prints like the names of God there and just lots of lots of nice things in their collection. And I couldn't quite maneuver how I wanted to with my <laughs> broken wrist hand, but I was trying to look at some of the other pictures that they had. All kinds of knickknacks. This is like where all the knickknacks have gone for a second chance, right? They definitely had special things that meant something to someone at some time. And now I see, look at that little doll chair. I should have picked that up for a doll playing girl. That's okay. Well, didn't didn't see it that day. Didn't see it till I was recording the voiceover. So they had lots of cute little things and holiday things as well. And I tell you, they had so many glasses at this thrift store. Glasses and plates galore. I just had fun looking at all the shelves and slowly filling my cart there. So I like visiting all the little chicken pictures <laughs> and rooster signs. And I did like this Jesus Loves Me cross there. Looks like it's made out of blocks. If my kids would have been with me that day, they would have definitely picked through those toys there. It looked like they had some winners in those baskets. And then everywhere I go, if I see blue ball glass old candy jars, I get them. I have to give them a home. They're usually about $5 or so each and that is fine. I will take them home. I will put them in a window. Uh, many of them are close to 100 years old or somewhere in that range. And so they just need to come home to my house. So this part in here is really dark, but I feel like it's a spot where you could find a lot of treasures if you could really dig, if we could dig a little better with my few good fingers on this hand, haha, -ha, but still interesting. Looks like an old dish.
Lots of plates and bowls here for sure. Lots of old grandma sets that look familiar. Lots of little odds and end pieces. And then definitely where all the coffee cups have landed. There's another side just as full. We want cute peppy sayings. Here's the other side. Now is this broken? Oh, that's just the way it's held. This is older. My little boys like to play with these in the yard. <laughs> so that's where we're getting that for fun. Fun entertainment. And then all the water bottles are here. I'm seeing 50 cents and 20 cents. So you know I'm gonna get a couple that fall into my cart. This is where all the Tupperware lids have gone. And even all their little kid shoes were organized so nicely. Again, I really enjoyed going in this one. It's definitely been 20 years and I just forgot about it. But man, they had so many nice things and Definitely the kids clothing and shoes were very well taken care of. Oh, and there you go We got some different devices there when needed when needed They had lots of furniture there as well and exercise equipment now I really like the helmets that I found here I inspected them all they were in great shape and I always need helmets with my bike riders and my scooter riders <laughs> and so I had ordered um, new helmets a year or so ago, but whenever I find them and they're uh, uh, an amazing price. There we go. I just got a stack of additional helmets for my folks. Man, when you need kitchen chairs, this is the place to come to. dancing shoes there. I mean, whenever you need ballet shoes, you know, $5 each, my goodness. That was just a nice find for a dance mom if you need it. And so much furniture, so many future furniture projects here. Definitely a fun place to go and look and see all that there was to see. They even had bunk bed sets there. couldn't quite get that cabinet open with my <laughs> broken wrist. This was when I was still trying to figure out how to juggle my vlogging camera, but yet looking at things and picking things up and just, it just wasn't going too well. So now we are getting ready to go into another new to me thrift store, not new to everybody else who lives here, but it's another one I've never been into. So let's go do more treasure hunting. And now this thrift store was fancy dancy. They had tags on everything, everything highly organized, just the right music playing, even some bread machines and some mixers, lots of Pampered Chef products. It just, it was well loved. And that's the same knife set that I have. And it's a couple hundred dollars set. And there it is at that thrift store for less than a couple hundred dollars. It was a knife set that I invested in. Um, maybe eight years ago or so. You all know. It was back at the forest house, but it's served me well. Look, they have all their little china organized. Their Tupperware, their lids are organized. Look at that. Knives and forks ready to go. Now, things were a little more expensive in this one, but definitely, like, if there's certain things that I would need or my local friends would need, this is a good one to go into because 
you're not sifting through the weeds to get to things. All, all the good stuff is out and ready to go. And this Tinker Toy set, mm -hmm, this is coming home with us. And boy, does it bring so much joy. <laughs> and there we go. I put both of them in the car. Those were the big things that I got there. But all of their shoes are nicely organized also. And they had costumes out and Christmas things. All their clothes were in nice shape. And now back to our homeland. We are back in Hobby Lobby and I of course have to, you know, boring families have clean houses. I just, I always love these little signs and I resisted. I did not get 20 of them, but I did like to stop and read them. They have some fantastic Grinch, Grinch, yeah, <laughs> Grinch themed fun for the holidays coming up, which reminds me, I need to get my Christmas hot cocoa mugs out. They are somewhere in the depths of the basement. But I definitely, look at that, vintage, modern, oh, and another Highland cow. And then I have that picture already. So I like to visit the pictures I already have. I want that barn picture. I did not get it that day. But as I watch this video again, I'm like, I need that. Now this is funny, make milk, not war. I'm not just a piece of meat, green grass for all. That's from the cows. Very cute. You know I just love all the farm prints. <laughs> so I like to visit them on this day and I like to think which ones I should have got that I didn't get. And again, visit the ones that I already have. So many pretty mirrors and the cows. Mm -hmm. I like this one t-shirt I have that says easily distracted by cows because yes, I just like the cows. <laughs> and we have our happy place more chicken pictures, more cow pictures, a reading chicken, all the chicken sisters. Yep. Just Hobby Lobby's going all out with the farm prints. I love it. I love it. It was very fun visiting them all on this day. And another barn picture. And they got cork boards and meal planners. Also like to visit all the Christmas pillows at Hobby Lobby they were 50% off on that day and hello just visiting the broken wrist setup there And really cute girl room decorations. I think they had a Highland cow with some pink bows. <laughs> Lots of really, really pretty pink decorations for sure. Love that kitty with the glasses on. And of course all the llamas and another cow. And again, reading all the signs. And then they have some neutral tones there. Okay, and now things get pretty serious because I find the Nubian goats and the sunflowers, so let's hyperventilate together in Hobby Lobby. So I took the Nubians down to get it, and then behind it is this wonderful cow print situation. So I just got done telling myself, I don't need any pictures in here today, and now I think I'm getting three because we have a new living room situation happening, and uh, yeah, come on home with us Nubians. And that's how the Nubians found their way to my house. So now we're going to visit some other holiday decor. Of course, now when I'm filming this voiceover, we are just, we are looking straight down, <laughs> straight down towards Christmas. But you can still probably go down to Hobby Lobby and get your last minute turkey decorations. 
So this is the place for pumpkins. All the colored pumpkins, all the colors, all the sizes. They are here and they are beautiful. And they got Christmas skirts, tree skirts, stockings, everything, 50% off, thank you. All the things. And my new pictures for the new living room riding around with us. And we have to visit the Christmas decorations. We have donuts on a string. What more could we need for our Christmas trees? Every year, Hobby Lobby just continues to up and up and up all the wonderful Christmas decorations that they offer. I see a very few things I have and a whole lot of other things I'd love to have, but it is definitely, definitely doesn't cost anything to visit. Of different nativity sets. I don't even remember my nativity sets from last year, but it'll be time to get those out before we know it. Now, come on, pound puppies, tell me if you had pound puppies, because I had the big pound puppies and then those pound puppy newborns. It was total 80s kid nostalgia going on there, and now I feel like I should have got them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I loved the pound puppies and the Cabbage Patch Kids. Hello, 80s kid. Okay, I was trying to leave and then I just said, wait a minute, there's more cow pictures I need to inspect. Like this one. <laughs> I love everything about that. I resisted that one before, but man, I just let, look, she's, she's drinking her coffee. She's contempla contemplating life. Little chick is on the table. It's just, it's a whole mood. It's a whole thing. Maybe she just needs like, her left hoof in a <laughs> situation like this and I just I feel it but I resisted the moody all the feelings mama cow and now we are in big lots looking at their clearance aisle and seeing all that big lots has to offer and look at this prince that'll be cheaper than Hobby Lobby not quite the Hobby Lobby uh, flair but definitely you can do some good decorating with some big lots prints as well. really nice throws. I'm gonna wait till I get my couch situation straight, but nice throws. Now those just look wild. Gummy eyeballs that was left over for Halloween. I was like, wow, I just have to look at those a minute. Lots of towels and other pretty little decor here at Big Lots on this evening. And then hello big lots getting ready for winter and the holidays and now it's coffee mug time or hot chocolate mug time we must visit these they had a lot of special ones there this evening and so I'm having fun 
going through reading the different ones yes that one was just a cute cute little upside down raccoon there and at this point I am inspired to get my kids some fresh hot chocolate mugs just because so we got a nice little puppy with a scarf And then we have the sloth. Very nice. I think on the back it says slow living. And then I find some kitty mugs. So those definitely have to come home as well. Some more puppies. So cute. Oh, there's the cute kitty mug. These were just all the hopes and dreams, let me tell you. Mama hair don't care, shoulda got it, shoulda got it. Now I was contemplating that little hot dog cooker and bun warmer, but you know we make so many at one time anyway. I just have some kids that I think they would really, they would enjoy that. And then it's always fun to visit all the sweet little normal size cookware. I just like to look at it and talk to it and make jokes about it. But if you need cookware, go to Big Lots. I do like looking at all the couches at Big Lots and visiting those as well. I am getting couch ideas and then looking at the holiday baking and those comfy slippers. And they had a really nice deal on different print shirts. You're the pumpkin to my pie, so cute. I definitely liked that loft bed with the shelves and the desk underneath, and then look at all those different Christmas inflatables and pumpkins. Just all the holidays all at one time, right? We just need to throw Valentine's Day in there, get some Easter eggs out. We'll just celebrate it all. And as always, we visit the Reese's and look at that giant Kit Kat. <laughs> it's like holiday teen gift ideas, right? I know my kids would just love something like that. It would be gone and it would be an experience. They still talk about the giant gummy bear I bought last year. More Christmas decor. Nice little outdoor fireplace. And so while we're here, we have to push the buttons and see the lights. I was definitely tempted to bring these home because I know, I just know, they, they would give lots of joy. But I was not making these particular purchases on this day out shopping. But again, voiceover JMRL several weeks later is like, oh, we need those on the island. That would be so fun. 
Okay, don't mind me, I'm just a girl trying to date my mason jar. So this one says ball and mason, and it's cloudier. It looks like they probably have flowers in it, just like I have four of these blue ball mason jars on my island flowers in it. This um, ball says perfect mason. There's a couple different charts you can look up online that can help you date your jars. This one that says perfect mason, you can go by the way that the word ball is scripted or the words underneath, hold on here. So to the phone, um, if it says perfect on there, that's from 1913 to 1923. But I'm looking for the one where it just says Mason. And in that case, I may have to look at the way that the word ball is scripted. It has different slants. I really want it. Okay. Well, Mama's too tired for that. But I know the dating of that one. It's just neat. They're blue jars. How could we not love them? And at four to five dollars a char, I always like to give these blue ones a home. This one was four, this one was five. There you go. Now, I did, um, I ended up paying a dollar a helmet. And last time I got helmets, they were somewhere in the 20 to 30 dollar range. And we have a place under our playhouse where they hang up. And I wanted to get a couple more. And I checked these. I can't pick them all up with my hand. You'll see me using my fingers and using this hand a little bit, but it's at the end of the day now. I think I'm, I'm past my limit. Um, <laughs> but anyway, these all had their buckles in the store and for $3, that's great. Also picked up another little pair of mittens for $1.50 and just a cute little winter hat for the collection. And then I shared with you all that my younger boys, they just always love playing with these hand mixers outside. So there you go, boys, there's another one. We have some little kitty, kitty picture frame and a little kitty decoration for little kitty lovers. And I thought they could paint this also. This was a really nice snowsuit. I had trouble finding the size. I'm just eyeballing it. And I think it's going to fit my toddler. Uh, but if not, I'll pass it on to a friend or donate it. This was just another quick purse. You know, I get carrying these big purses and sometimes I just need a small purse to carry into a store with me real quick. So I picked up two of those today. I picked this one up and then a red corduroy one. This is just another pair of gloves. Let's see if I can kind of flip them over. Um, anyway, we'll be warm in the winter. We'll go in our glove collection for somebody. Now, I got this for a kiddo and I don't know if they're gonna like the texture of this fabric or not. It just, well, it feels older and kind of thin but it was also really cute, and it could be their new favorite thing. But again, we can always donate it back if it's not. So this was all from one thrift store, that first one we went to. And then the second thrift store we went into, I got these Tinker Toys, which have already been played with. Both of them together were $14.99. I don't know how it's going to go, you know, having these sticks and rods um, around, but again, they're already building things, so we're going to give them a shot, and they can always disappear if they need to, but I think they're going to have a lot of fun with them. Um, and then over at Big Lots, I stocked up on some monk fruit and also the monk fruit tastes like brown sugar replacement that's good on sweet potatoes I got four of these bags for an upcoming event for some kiddos this was at Big Lots too and then here's the sweet little cups that we got and they have been oohed and awed over wall because kids are helping me unload all of this right now um, anyway they loved these extra cups for our hot chocolate cup collection and I said we'll just have fun breaking them one by one but they're gonna give us some joy and you know they could make it they can make it a little bit maybe they'll make it through all the way through the end of 2023 like the rest of us right we've got some hope but just really cute 
makes hot chocolate taste even better. Um, I also got this cute little kitty hat at Hobby Lobby for a kiddo and then additionally these little jewelry making pieces for a kiddo. I know they'll enjoy those. And then hopes and dreams for the new living room. All right, so sunflowers make us happy, right? Yay, sunflowers. So these are gonna go up in the new living room. I may have mentioned to you, I'm not sure, but the color that I'm thinking of doing the kitchen and the new living room is Sea Salt by Sherwin-Williams. I think I'm gonna go for it, okay? So it's, it's in the same family with agreeable gray, but it's got like a very light green in it. Anyway, it's very nice, subtle, but not. I like the Pinterest pictures of it. So I think my sunflowers would look good on it. And then the goats also got a great reaction. It was the, oh, look, it's Nubians. And so here's some Nubians in the kitchen. That's what everyone needs in their kitchen, right? Gotta love it. And then this is upside down, but just a nice little rustic looking, then sings my soul. I have some other prints from Hobby Lobby that I've collected also with hopes and dreams for the new living room, but that's a big room be a big room. It's going to be the biggest living room I've ever had. And we have the laundry room. Nubians could end up in the laundry room. I don't know. It's going to be fun to decorate all of it. So thank you so much for hanging out with me and going in two thrift stores. I had to think through how many you go through two thrift stores. One I hadn't been in, I don't think in 20 years. And the second one I had never been in. That was very nice. And then Hobby Lobby so appreciate you hanging out with me and I'll chat with you in those comments below and I'll see you very soon with another new video. Bye-bye.